A disturbing story now for you from dancers at Ballet West. Someone apparently yelled racial slurs at three of the dancers following a rehearsal last week. Fox 13's Aaron Cox spoke with one of them about what happened. The few minutes we see on stage are the result of constant practice for months, even a year. I feel like every day there's a new step, there's new movement, there's new artistry that I want to challenge myself with. So I'm constantly every day coming in to be better. She wouldn't tell you herself, but Catlin Addison is not just better, she's one of the best. This is her 10th year at Ballet West, and she was just promoted to principal artist. That's as far as you can ever be as a classical ballerina. You can imagine what it must have felt like to have left rehearsal last week, only to hear words that should not be spoken. Some lady literally whole body out of her car and yelled out and called me the N-word. Honestly, that was a slur that was used many years ago to define black people, and I know I'm not sluggish. I know I'm not lazy. I know I'm not what those words used to define. And Catlin knows two of her colleagues did not deserve to be yelled at either. She must have hit my spot on Main Street and kept on going up the street where I know they had a photo shoot that they were doing and did the same thing to them. An experience Catlin says she's never had here in Utah before this. It's unfortunate. I feel like people are kind here. And it's just scary because I don't know how, how far she could have taken it. A reminder to Catlin that there's still practice and work some folks still need to put in. People will say whatever they want to say, but, you know, to constantly remind myself they don't hold my worth. Catlin will return here to the stage in August, and a documentary episode about her will be released tomorrow. From the Capitol Theater in Salt Lake City, Erin Cox, Fox 13 News, Utah.